Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we'll be discussing why 2024 and future elections all favour the Democrat Party if things like party ideologies and the American electorate voting like ideas all stay the same. Now if you take a look at 2016, this map is... it was surprising. Everyone who saw this was surprised by it. No one expected states like Michigan, which had been Democrat for decades, Pennsylvania, even Wisconsin, to go to Donald Trump, which they did by 0.3% at 0.7 in Wisconsin. I think 0.7 in Pennsylvania as well. And it was a surprise to everyone. And there, if definitely, if these states are won again, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, I think it's fair to say they're trending to the right. And that spells bad news for the Democrats because if they lose the Rust Belt and Ohio, Ohio and Iowa are definitely becoming more and more safe for the Republicans. Ohio and Iowa, they could be safe by 2024, 2028 even. But if they lose states, if Dems lose states like Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, granted it was very slim margins that definitely could be won back. But if Trump expands on both of those on the leads in these states, then that's not going to be very good for the Democrats whatsoever um, at all. So, however, it, there is a spell of good news for the Democrats in 2024 or 2028, even 2020-ish. Not as much, but if you take a look at the 2024 uh, YAPS predicted map, which is this map with the electoral points with Texas gaining three points, Arizona gaining a point, Colorado gaining a point, Florida gaining many points. How many points? Gaining three points. Two points, sorry. Two points. New York losing. But then you'll see Minnesota loses a point. Michigan loses a point. Ohio loses a point. Pennsylvania loses a point. And you realize that this area of America doesn't have as much weight as it used to. It will. People are moving to states like Arizona, Colorado, Texas, Georgia, North Carolina, and Florida. And this some part area is where the elections in the future are going to come down to. Because even if these are trending to the left, let's say they are uh, right. Sorry, let's say Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania are. However, over the election cycles, they keep losing points. Suddenly, they become less and less important, and a state like New Mexico or uh, Louisiana or Texas could become the new California. And so, let's just take a look at this and fill out like these standard states that are probably going to be with them anyway. Uh, New Mexico could be safe in 2024 but I doubt it. Uh, okay so uh, main at large Okay, so basically in future elections, if things carry on as they are, these are the states I expect to be the key swing states. Obviously the Rust Belt area, as well as Florida, Texas and Arizona. Now, the other states you can probably suspect will stay as they are. Nevada may be in a likely column and North Carolina may be in a lean, but I feel like that will be a key swing state as well, but not as crucial in this scenario. So, let's talk about Texas for a moment. Texas is an is important state, it's no doubt about it. In 2016 and 2020, 38 electoral points. If Hillary had won it, oh, sorry, if Hillary had won it, boom, won the election, 270 to 268. Granted, it wasn't really within her reach in that election, but it was pretty, it was, she, she performed okay in Texas. Definitely not by a bad margin whatsoever, and Texas is the decider that could flip the entire election, as you've just seen. Now, I don't think in 2020 it will go to Joe Biden. 2024, if someone like Kamala Harris runs and gets the primary and nomination and somehow manages manages to win Texas, let's say she does, let's say it is someone like that who can appeal to them, and wins Texas, 270, again. And at that point, it doesn't matter if Michigan is trending to the left, or right, sorry, Michigan is trending to the right. Michigan, I think, will come back to the Dems, if you look at the polls. Uh, Michigan, most recent poll, 12 points up. 
uh, that's a big big like expansion from the plus two and plus eight but plus two is great news for Biden I do think uh, Michigan is the safest state if you take a look at Pennsylvania there was a poll that had Trump up by four Biden's average is 3.3 I do think Trump has a very big chance of winning the state in 2016 it predicted a Hillary win by 1.9 Trump won by 0 0.7 so polls aren't always right I think that's safe to say uh, but yeah so a state like Michigan I think will come home to the Democrats I do think Joe Biden will pick that up again and I do think that will stay in the Dem column probably in 2024 but even if it isn't even if it is trending to the right it, it won't matter obviously 270 to 269 is, or 268 is not a big margin and it wouldn't give the Democrats a very big mandate to govern the country but it's a victory nonetheless and the day Texas goes or the election Texas goes blue is the day Republicans have a very very big issue because they could win Arizona which I do think is, is also trending to the left and they could even win Florida but again Texas flipped it doesn't matter so in theory all the Dems need to do is target Texas if they win over Texas they win the election obviously 2020 probably not going to happen 2024 maybe won't happen but 2028 and 2032 will probably be tilt either way um, but yeah and it's a sunbelt area oh, sorry not Louisiana it's a sunbelt area that's gaining the points Texas Florida Arizona uh, Colorado and it's also where the elections are boiling down to because again even if they are these states trending to the right it won't matter even if Minnesota is let's say Minnesota flips in 2024 uh, you know let's just let's just do it like this uh, just easier to visualize and no reason to have tilt margins except okay sorry about this just a sec Okay, so let's say the Rust Valley is trending to the right, and even Minnesota is trending to the right, and oh no, Minnesota's been taken. I do think Virginia will continue to the left. It's been performing very well, and the polls have biden up by quite a bit, I think, if I remember. Virginia. Yeah, up by 9.7 still. Uh, that is a very, 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 very substantial margin, and it's not, considering it was a Republican... Uh, bastion in this area for quite a while uh, it's trending very very much to the left now let's just say it this way the Rust Belt is trending to the right Illinois probably no, definitely not so not Illinois Illinois will always be them but they could flip down the future but maybe not I don't think so anytime soon uh, however Arizona is trending to the left I think they will pick that up in this election there are uh, Democrats um, and Texas and Florida's always in play so even the Rust Belt is becoming less and less important and it will come to a point where it's pretty irrelevant because all the focus is going to be on Arizona Texas and Florida and even Georgia in the future because Georgia is becoming more and more democratic and if they could pull this off in 2028, 20, 2032, 20, 2036 any, any time around there Democrats are going to have a mandate and we'll see in this election in 2020 if Michigan is trending to the right I do think it will come home to the Democrats I think Trump could Trump definitely can win without it he'll have to retain Arizona though and Florida it will be tough but he definitely could win without Michigan but Arizona I think will go to Joe Biden don't think Texas will I don't think Florida will uh, don't think Georgia will but the point is, in future elections, the Sunbelt area, the key, the key, key states in future elections, but everyone's moving to, the people moving to Texas are more Democrat voters. A lot of minorities are leaving up here, obviously making it more a white electorate, which helps the Republicans, which could be one of the main reasons it is trending to the, uh, the right, is because of the migration down to states like Texas, Arizona and Florida. Which is bumping up their points, and let's be real, Florida's always going to be in play. 
So Florida is definitely going to go out of the way. Arizona in 2024-2028 I think could become a likely or even safe, maybe not safe, I don't think it will breach 15%, but it will definitely could get out the likely column, uh, the lean column and go into likely. And if they could secure Arizona, they basically secure these Latino states, Latino heavy states, sorry. And then their next focus is Texas. Or Georgia. North Carolina even. And this spells bad news for the Republicans. They are going to need a candidate who can appeal to these states. Because they'll need to try and win over Nevada. They'll need to try and win Florida, Georgia, Michigan. They may even need to contest a state like New Mexico in the future, even though it's becoming more and more left and it's unlikely. And they'll need a candidate who can do that, because if this scenario happens, which it definitely could if things stay as they are on these trends, in the future, uh, Michigan subject to change if Trump wins it in 2020, I don't think he will, but he definitely could. Um, uh, it's maybe yeah, Georgia and that. In 2032, this, this is a very probable scenario. And it, I've stressed this many a time. They're going. To, the Republicans are going to need candidates. They're going to need strong candidates who can appeal to Latinos, who can appeal to minorities. And they're going to need to hold on to Texas. Once a Republican base, due to immigration from foreign nation, foreign countries, and within the United States itself, is causing Texas to go more to the left. There's no doubt about it. It's got closer of the elections. And it definitely could be won in 2024, though I think it will still be a, uh, a lean margin, probably one or two points in 2020, 2024 probably one point, and then 2032, uh, 2028, sorry, when the Dems could actually win it. And by this point, what's the, say the Dems do win this, 2032, they win this, pretty much a landslide a pretty substantial victory it still doesn't stop them because what if the, what if Pennsylvania Wisconsin and let's say Minnesota don't go to the Republicans and that's trending to the left Wisconsin doesn't go Pennsylvania comes home then it's an even bigger margin and if they can lock these down it's going to be a string of Democrat uh, presidents whether Republicans revolt against this because they literally can't do anything because Texas is now <laughs> It's now a Democrat bastion, who knows? But, I'm only kidding, that won't happen. But, they'll, the Republican Party will either will either just lose, and they'll just become candidate, or they'll just become an obsolete party. Maybe a different party will take its place. You can appeal to Texans, New Mexicans, Arizonans, Arizonians? I don't know, yeah. Floridians, Georgians. Cause they they kind of need to. The Sun Belt is the most important part in every future election that is to come and it's the most important part in this one in fact Florida, Arizona, Georgia's even competitive Texas, North Carolina I think that counts as a Sun Belt and after this happens what's next? maybe they focus on other states like Ohio back Iowa but I do think the Rust Belt is trending to the right and as I've said many a time even if it is it won't matter because the Sun Belt is trending to the left and I just like to point out Georgia is not going to be won in 2020. Texas isn't going to be won in 2020. Florida probably won't be won unless things stay as they are with Trump's negative uh, national polling. If you just take a look at this, uh, look, uh, they've normally stuck together as one rises, the other rises, as another dips, they dip here. But Biden has really been pulling ahead here. Obviously, the CNN plus 14 poll, I do not trust whatsoever because it's CNN. But even so on the average is going up so all the polls have him up and if he can win by more than three percent nationwide i think he's won he can win with lower obviously but if he gets around three percent above i think he's won maybe not in these states probably florida though and i don't think these will go but arizona definitely will probably go to joe biden by a lean margin uh, minnesota definitely michigan probably Unless it is trending to the right, in which case, as I've said many a time, it doesn't really matter. The Dems can sort of just brush this election off. Obviously, it's another four years of Trump, which is not good news from the Dems' point of view. But they definitely could just focus on other states. 
and they definitely could win by, via other avenues. Just getting Florida over wins it for them pretty much, as long as they retain Michigan. But if they don't, again, just focus on Texas. Just focus down Texas, and they've got the LSU. Even without Texas, they've got it with it. It's just a bonus. So, yeah, that's the end of this video on why the future elections favour the Democrats. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please check out my other tw American election, tw um, 2020 presidential election prediction, or just election videos. Yeah, there'll be a playlist on your screen now or momentarily. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Um, I'm trying to get a Senate prediction out, but I'm not really very familiar with the Senate, so I'll need, I need to get data about each state, each candidate, or look at the polls and everything, because I'm not very familiar with the Senate or the House. House, I probably won't do a prediction because it, there's way too much stuff. But if you guys want to see that, I will. I'll put the effort into do it. Um, I'll probably have a Medieval Kingdom so Water or Tav AD video out uh, tomorrow. I'll try to get into one video a day again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.